In this video, we will learn common phrases that Americans use daily. Let's start. Do you brush your teeth in the morning? Yes, I do. Do you brush your teeth in the morning? Yes, I do. How long do you brush your teeth for? About two minutes. How long do you brush your teeth for? About two minutes. What toothpaste do you use? I use mint flavored toothpaste. What toothpaste do you use? I use mint flavored toothpaste. Do you floss your teeth? Yes, I floss every morning. Do you floss your teeth? Yes, I floss every morning. Do you use mouthwash? No, I don't use mouthwash. Do you use mouthwash? No, I don't use mouthwash. Do you wash your face in the morning? Yes, I wash my face with water. Do you wash your face in the morning? Yes, I wash my face with water. Do you use a facial cleanser? No, just water for me. Do you use a facial cleanser? No, just water for me. Do you take a shower in the morning? No, I shower in the evening. Do you take a shower in the morning? No, I shower in the evening. How do you style your hair in the morning? I comb my hair. How do you style your hair in the morning? I comb my hair. Do you put on makeup in the morning? No, I don't wear makeup. Do you put on makeup in the morning? No, I don't wear makeup. Do you shave in the morning? Yes, I shave every morning. Do you shave in the morning? Yes, I shave every morning. What kind of razor do you use? I use a disposable razor. What kind of razor do you use? I use a disposable razor. Do you use shaving cream? Yes, I use shaving cream. Do you use shaving cream? Yes, I use shaving cream. How long does it take you to shower? It takes me about 15 minutes to shower. How long does it take you to shower? It takes me about 15 minutes to shower. Do you use a loafer or washcloth? I use a washcloth. Do you use a loafer or washcloth? I use a washcloth. Do you wash your hair every day? No, I wash my hair every other day. Do you wash your hair every day? No, I wash my hair every other day. What shampoo do you use? 
I use a coconut scented shampoo. What shampoo do you use? I use a coconut scented shampoo. Do you use conditioner? Yes, I use conditioner after shampooing. Do you use conditioner? Yes, I use conditioner after shampooing. Do you use a body scrub? No, I don't use a body scrub. Do you use a body scrub? No, I don't use a body scrub. How do you dry off after a shower? I use a towel to dry off. How do you dry off after a shower? I use a towel to dry off. Do you moisturize your skin? Yes, I use lotion on my skin. Do you moisturize your skin? Yes, I use lotion on my skin. Do you put on deodorant? Yes, I use deodorant. Do you put on deodorant? Yes, I use deodorant. What scent of deodorant do you use? I use a fresh, clean scent. What scent of deodorant do you use? I use a fresh, clean scent. Do you wear pajamas to bed? Yes, I wear pajamas. Do you wear pajamas to bed? Yes, I wear pajamas. Do you put on socks in the morning? Yes, I put on socks. Do you put on socks in the morning? Yes, I put on socks. Do you wear slippers at home? No, I prefer barefoot. Do you wear slippers at home? No, I prefer barefoot. Do you wash your hands after using the toilet? Yes, always. Do you wash your hands after using the toilet? Yes, always. Do you use hand sanitizer too? No, just soap and water. Do you use hand sanitizer too? No, just soap and water. Do you have a specific towel for your face? Yes, I have a separate face towel. Do you have a specific towel for your face? Yes, I have a separate face towel. Do you use a separate towel for your body? Yes, I use a body towel. Do you use a separate towel for your body? Yes, I use a body towel. How do you organize your toiletries? I keep them in a bathroom cabinet. How do you organize your toiletries? I keep them in a bathroom cabinet. Do you listen to music while getting ready? Sometimes, I play music. Do you listen to music while getting ready? Sometimes, I play music. Do you have a morning skincare routine? No, I keep it simple. 
Do you have a morning skincare routine? No, I keep it simple. Do you prefer hot or cold water for your face? I prefer cold water. Do you prefer hot or cold water for your face? I prefer cold water. Do you wear a robe after showering? No, I don't wear a robe. Do you wear a robe after showering? No, I don't wear a robe. Do you use a bath mat? Yes, I have a bath mat. Do you use a bath mat? Yes, I have a bath mat. Do you keep a spare toothbrush? Yes, I have a spare. Do you keep a spare toothbrush? Yes, I have a spare. Do you use an electric toothbrush? No, I use a manual toothbrush. Do you use an electric toothbrush? No, I use a manual toothbrush. Do you have a shower curtain or a glass door? I have a shower curtain. Do you have a shower curtain or a glass door? I have a shower curtain. Do you have a bathrobe? No, I don't have one. Do you have a bathrobe? No, I don't have one. Do you have a scale in the bathroom? Yes, I have a bathroom scale. Do you have a scale in the bathroom? Yes, I have a bathroom scale. Do you brush your hair in the morning? Yes, I brush my hair. Do you brush your hair in the morning? Yes, I brush my hair. Do you have a specific order for your routine? Yes, I follow a specific order. Do you have a specific order for your routine? Yes, I follow a specific order. Do you use a shower cap? No. I don't use one. Do you use a shower cap? No, I don't use one. Do you keep extra toilet paper in the bathroom? Yes, there's always extra. Do you keep extra toilet paper in the bathroom? Yes. There's always extra. Do you use scented soap? Yes, I use lavender scented soap. Do you use scented soap? Yes, I use lavender scented soap. Do you have a nightlight in the bathroom? No, I don't use one. Do you have a nightlight in the bathroom? No, I don't use one. Do you clean the bathroom daily? No, I clean it weekly. Do you clean the bathroom daily? No, I clean it weekly. Do you use a step stool to reach high shelves? Yes, I have a step stool. Do you use a step stool to reach high shelves? Yes, 
I have a step stool. Do you have a trash can in the bathroom? Yes, there's a trash can. Do you have a trash can in the bathroom? Yes, there's a trash can. Do you use a shower caddy for your products? No, I keep them on a shelf. Do you use a shower caddy for your products? No, I keep them on a shelf. Do you prefer baths or showers? I prefer showers. Do you prefer baths or showers? I prefer showers. Do you have a shower curtain liner? Yes, I use a liner. Do you have a shower curtain liner? Yes, I use a liner. Do you use a facial scrub? No, I don't use one. Do you use a facial scrub? No, I don't use one. Do you use a shower cap when it rains? No, I don't use one. Do you use a shower cap when it rains? No, I don't use one. Do you keep spare towels for guests? Yes, I have guest towels. Do you keep spare towels for guests? Yes, I have guest towels. Do you use a toilet bowl cleaner? Yes, I clean the bowl. Do you use a toilet bowl cleaner? Yes, I clean the bowl. Do you have a bath mat outside the shower? Yes, there's a bath mat. Do you have a bath mat outside the shower? Yes, there's a bath mat. Do you use hand lotion in the morning? Yes, I use hand lotion. Do you use hand lotion in the morning? Yes, I use hand lotion. Do you have a clock in the bathroom? No, there's no clock. Do you have a clock in the bathroom? No, there's no clock. Do you keep magazines in the bathroom? No, I don't keep magazines. Do you keep magazines in the bathroom? No, I don't keep magazines. Do you have a bath towel warmer? No, I don't have one. Do you have a bath towel warmer? No, I don't have one. Do you prefer liquid soap or bar soap? I prefer liquid soap. Do you prefer liquid soap or bar soap? I prefer liquid soap. Do you have a shower radio? No, I don't have one. Do you have a shower radio? No. I don't have one. Do you use a shower cap when swimming? No, I don't use one. 
Do you use a shower cap when swimming? No, I don't use one. Do you use a night cream? No, I don't use night cream. Do you use a night cream? No, I don't use night cream. Do you have bath salts for relaxation? No, I don't use bath salts. Do you have bath salts for relaxation? No, I don't use bath salts. Do you have a rug in front of the sink? Yes, there's a rug. Do you have a rug in front of the sink? Yes, there's a rug. Do you use a body wash or bar soap? I use body wash. Do you use a body wash or bar soap? I use body wash. Do you have a shower organizer? No, I don't use one. Do you have a shower organizer? No, I don't use one. Do you use a shower cap when dyeing your hair? No, I don't dye my hair. Do you use a shower cap when dyeing your hair? No, I don't dye my hair. Do you have a shower curtain with a design? Yes, it has a pattern. Do you have a shower curtain with a design? Yes, it has a pattern. Do you have a squeegee for the shower door? No, I don't have one. Do you have a squeegee for the shower door? No, I don't have one. Do you have bath toys for kids? No, I don't have kids' toys. Do you have bath toys for kids? No, I don't have kids' toys. Do you keep a candle in the bathroom? No, I don't keep candles. Do you keep a candle in the bathroom? No, I don't keep candles. Do you have a mirror in the shower? No, there's no mirror. Do you have a mirror in the shower? No, there's no mirror. Do you use a shower bench? No, I don't use one. Do you use a shower bench? No, I don't use one. Do you have a bathrobe hook on the door? No, there's no hook. Do you have a bathrobe hook on the door? No, there's no hook. Do you keep a plunger in the bathroom? Yes, there's a plunger. Do you keep a plunger in the bathroom? Yes, there's a plunger. Do you have a toilet paper holder? Yes, there's a holder. Do you have a toilet paper holder? Yes, there's a holder. Do you use a shower squeegee? No, I don't use one. Do you use a shower squeegee? No, I don't use one. Do you have a towel warmer? 
No, I don't have one. Do you have a towel warmer? No, I don't have one. Do you use a shower mirror for shaving? No, I don't use one. Do you use a shower mirror for shaving? No, I don't use one. Do you have a bath towel rack? Yes, there's a towel rack. Do you have a bath towel rack? Yes, there's a towel rack. Do you have a bathrobe hanger? No, there's no hanger. Do you have a bathrobe hanger? No, there's no hanger. Do you use a toilet seat cover? No, I don't use one. Do you use a toilet seat cover? No, I don't use one. Do you have a shower curtain rod? Yes, there's a rod. Do you have a shower curtain rod? Yes, there's a rod. Do you use a shower curtain with hooks? Yes, it has hooks. Do you use a shower curtain with hooks? Yes, it has hooks. Do you have a bath mat inside the shower? No, I don't have one. Do you have a bath mat inside the shower? No, I don't have one. Do you use a shower caddy for toiletries? No, I don't use one. Do you use a shower caddy for toiletries? No, I don't use one. Do you have a bath towel ring? No, there's no ring. Do you have a bath towel ring? No, there's no ring. Do you use a shower cap for deep conditioning? No, I don't use deep conditioning. Do you use a shower cap for deep conditioning? No, I don't use deep conditioning. Do you have a towel hook on the wall? No, there's no hook. Do you have a towel hook on the wall? No, there's no hook. Do you use a shower curtain liner with magnets? Yes, it has magnets. Do you use a shower curtain liner with magnets? Yes, it has magnets. Do you have a bath towel bar? Yes, there's a towel bar. Do you have a bath towel bar? Yes, there's a towel bar. Do you use a shower squeegee for glass doors? No, I don't have glass doors. Do you use a shower squeegee for glass doors? No, I don't have glass doors. Do you have a bathrobe hook on the wall? No, there's no hook. Do you have a bathrobe hook on the wall? No, there's no hook. Do you use a toilet brush for cleaning? Yes, I use a toilet brush. Do you use a toilet brush for cleaning? Yes, I use a toilet brush. 
Do you have a shower curtain with weights? Yes, it has weights. Do you have a shower curtain with weights? Yes, it has weights. Do you have a bath towel rack with multiple bars? No, it's a single bar towel rack. Do you have a bath towel rack with multiple bars? No, it's a single bar towel rack. I sipped my tea from a delicate porcelain cup. Sounds lovely and elegant. I sipped my tea from a delicate porcelain cup. Sounds lovely and elegant. She used ladles of different sizes to serve the soup. That's practical for different portions. She used ladles of different sizes to serve the soup. That's practical for different portions. I grabbed the whisk to beat the eggs for the omelet. Whisks are great for making fluffy omelets. I grabbed the whisk to beat the eggs for the omelet. Whisks are great for making fluffy omelets. The teacup rested on the saucer beside the plate. A classic setup for tea time. The teacup rested on the saucer beside the plate. A classic setup for tea time. The frying pan sizzled as I cooked breakfast. I can almost smell the bacon. The frying pan sizzled as I cooked breakfast. I can almost smell the bacon. I need a saucepan to heat up the soup. Perfect for warming up a chilly day. I need a saucepan to heat up the soup. Perfect for warming up a chilly day. The stew simmered in the pot on the stove. Stews always taste better when simmered. The stew simmered in the pot on the stove. Stews always taste better when simmered. Please pass me the salt and pepper shaker. Here you go, season to taste. Please pass me the salt and pepper shaker. Here you go, season to taste. The cutlery was neatly arranged on the table. A well-set table always looks inviting. The cutlery was neatly arranged on the table. A well-set table always looks inviting. The silverware gleamed under the restaurant's dim lights. Classy dining experience, I bet. The silverware gleamed under the restaurant's dim lights. Classy dining experience, I bet. I washed the dish in the sink. Good job on keeping things clean. I washed the dish in the sink. Good job on keeping things clean. The tablecloth was beautifully embroidered. It must have added a touch of elegance to the table. The tablecloth was beautifully embroidered. It must have added a touch of elegance to the table. She poured tea from the elegant teapot. 
Tea from a teapot always feels special. She poured tea from the elegant teapot. Tea from a teapot always feels special. Leftovers can be heated in the microwave oven. Convenient for a quick meal. Leftovers can be heated in the microwave oven. Convenient for a quick meal. The stove was blazing, ready for cooking. Time to whip up something delicious. The stove was blazing, ready for cooking. Time to whip up something delicious. The cooker made a sizzling sound as it heated up. That's the sound of a tasty meal in the making. The cooker made a sizzling sound as it heated up. That's the sound of a tasty meal in the making. The plate rack held our clean dishes. Organized and ready for the next meal. The plate rack held our clean dishes. Organized and ready for the next meal. He added a dash of salt from the salt shaker. Balancing flavors, a culinary touch. He added a dash of salt from the salt shaker. Balancing flavors, a culinary touch. I chopped vegetables on the cutting board. Prepping for a healthy meal, I see. I chopped vegetables on the cutting board. Prepping for a healthy meal, I see. I carried the tray of appetizers to the guests. A great way to start a gathering. I carried the tray of appetizers to the guests. A great way to start a gathering. The baking tray was lined with parchment paper. Makes clean up a breeze. The baking tray was lined with parchment paper. Makes clean up a breeze. She scooped the soup with a ladle. Perfect for serving a hearty bowl. She scooped the soup with a ladle. Perfect for serving a hearty bowl. I used a pancake turner to flip the pancakes. Flipping pancakes like a pro. I used a pancake turner to flip the pancakes. Flipping pancakes like a pro. The spatula helped me flip the omelet. Omelets are a breakfast favorite. The spatula helped me flip the omelet. Omelets are a breakfast favorite. The draining spoon removed excess liquid from the pasta. Keeping the pasta perfectly al dente. The draining spoon removed excess liquid from the pasta. Keeping the pasta perfectly al dente. She used a skimmer to remove the fried chicken. Crispy chicken, coming right up. She used a skimmer to remove the fried chicken. Crispy chicken, coming right up. I ate my cereal from a bowl. A classic way to start the day. I ate my cereal from a bowl. 
A classic way to start the day. He fetched water from the well using a bucket. Old fashioned but effective. He fetched water from the well using a bucket. Old fashioned but effective. The carving knife made slicing the turkey easier. Carving knives are essential for holiday feasts. The carving knife made slicing the turkey easier. Carving knives are essential for holiday feasts. She hung her laundry on a clothes peg. A sunny day for laundry, it seems. She hung her laundry on a clothes peg. A sunny day for laundry, it seems. The coffee machine brewed a fresh pot. Nothing beats the aroma of freshly brewed coffee. The coffee machine brewed a fresh pot. Nothing beats the aroma of freshly brewed coffee. The cup and saucer matched perfectly. Aesthetically pleasing presentation. The cup and saucer matched perfectly. Aesthetically pleasing presentation. I picked up my fork to eat dinner. Time to dig in. I picked up my fork to eat dinner. Time to dig in. The leftovers went into the fridge. Leftovers make a great lunch tomorrow. The leftovers went into the fridge. Leftovers make a great lunch tomorrow. The frying pan was hot and ready. Ready for some sizzling action. The frying pan was hot and ready. Ready for some sizzling action. I poured juice into a glass. Refreshing choice for a drink. I poured juice into a glass. Refreshing choice for a drink. I vacuumed the living room with the Hoover. Cleaning up the house, I see. I vacuumed the living room with the Hoover. Cleaning up the house, I see. The kettle whistled when the water boiled. Tea or coffee on the way. The kettle whistled when the water boiled. Tea or coffee on the way. The kitchen scale helped me measure the flour. Precision in baking is key. The kitchen scale helped me measure the flour. Precision in baking is key. I used a knife to chop onions. Onions can add so much flavor. I used a knife to chop onions. Onions can add so much flavor. The microwave quickly heated my leftovers. A lifesaver for busy days. The microwave quickly heated my leftovers. A lifesaver for busy days. I cleaned the floor with a mop. Making sure the floor shines. I cleaned the floor with a mop. Making sure the floor shines. 
I drank my morning coffee from a mug. A good start to the day. I drank my morning coffee from a mug. A good start to the day. The pedal bin was convenient for disposing of trash. A hands-free option, very convenient. The pedal bin was convenient for disposing of trash. A hands-free option, very convenient. I place the hot dish on a plate. Presentation matters even at home. I place the hot dish on a plate. Presentation matters even at home. The cooking pot simmered on the stove. Can't wait for what's cooking. The cooking pot simmered on the stove. Can't wait for what's cooking. She scrubbed the pot with a scrubbing brush. Getting those pots nice and clean. She scrubbed the pot with a scrubbing brush. Getting those pots nice and clean. I stirred the soup with a spoon. Soup always warms the soul. I stirred the soup with a spoon. Soup always warms the soul. I turned on the tap to wash my hands. Clean hands are a must. I turned on the tap to wash my hands. Clean hands are a must. The toaster popped up the toasted bread. Toasty and delicious. The toaster popped up the toasted bread. Toasty and delicious. What's the cooking process for this dish? Bring to a boil, then reduce the heat to a simmer. What's the cooking process for this dish? Bring to a boil, then reduce the heat to a simmer. How should I cook delicate fish? Simmer gently to avoid overcooking the delicate fish. How should I cook delicate fish? Simmer gently to avoid overcooking the delicate fish. What's the secret to perfectly fried food? Fry to a crisp until it turns a perfect golden brown. What's the secret to perfectly fried food? Fry to a crisp until it turns a perfect golden brown. How long should I bake this dish? Bake until golden and fluffy, about 30 minutes. How long should I bake this dish? Bake until golden and fluffy, about 30 minutes. How do I cook these vegetables? Steam until tender, usually for about 10 minutes. How do I cook these vegetables? Steam until tender, usually for about 10 minutes. What's the process for poaching eggs? Poach in simmering water until the eggs are set. What's the process for poaching eggs? Poach in simmering water until the eggs are set. How can I prevent lumps in my sauce? Stir continuously to prevent lumps in the sauce. 
How can I prevent lumps in my sauce? Stir continuously to prevent lumps in the sauce. What's the key to a flavorful sauce? Simmer on low heat for a rich, flavorful sauce. What's the key to a flavorful sauce? Simmer on low heat for a rich, flavorful sauce. How can I retain the crunch in my vegetables? Blanch quickly to retain the vegetables' crunch. How can I retain the crunch in my vegetables? Blanch quickly to retain the vegetables' crunch. How can I sweeten this dish? Glaze with honey for a sweet and sticky finish. How can I sweeten this dish? Glaze with honey for a sweet and sticky finish. How can I make the meat more flavorful? Marinate for hours to infuse the meat with flavor. How can I make the meat more flavorful? Marinate for hours to infuse the meat with flavor. How should I season this dish? Season to taste with salt, pepper, and herbs. How should I season this dish? Season to taste with salt, pepper, and herbs. What's the first step in baking? Preheat the oven to the desired temperature. What's the first step in baking? Preheat the oven to the desired temperature. How do I melt butter without burning it? Melt the butter slowly to avoid burning. How do I melt butter without burning it? Melt the butter slowly to avoid burning. What's the secret to perfectly toasted bread? Toast the bread until it's crispy and golden. What's the secret to perfectly toasted bread? Toast the bread until it's crispy and golden. How do I prepare dough for baking? Knead the dough until it's smooth and elastic. How do I prepare dough for baking? Knead the dough until it's smooth and elastic. How should I prepare cheese for pasta? Grate the cheese for a cheesy pasta topping. How should I prepare cheese for pasta? Grate the cheese for a cheesy pasta topping. What's the first step in making salsa? Chop the onions finely for a flavorful salsa. What's the first step in making salsa? Chop the onions finely for a flavorful salsa. How should I prepare onions for stir-fry? Dice the onions for the stir-fry. How should I prepare onions for stir-fry? Dice the onions for the stir-fry. What's the best way to prepare lettuce for a salad? Shred the lettuce for a fresh salad. What's the best way to prepare lettuce for a salad? Shred the lettuce for a fresh salad. 
How do I make decorative carrot slices? Julienne the carrots for a decorative touch. How do I make decorative carrot slices? Julienne the carrots for a decorative touch. What's the secret to creamy mashed potatoes? Mash the potatoes with butter and cream. What's the secret to creamy mashed potatoes? Mash the potatoes with butter and cream. How do I make whipped cream for dessert? Whip the cream until it's light and fluffy. How do I make whipped cream for dessert? Whip the cream until it's light and fluffy. What should I do before adding eggs to a recipe? Beat the eggs until they're well combined. What should I do before adding eggs to a recipe? Beat the eggs until they're well combined. How do I make a smooth sauce? Blend until the ingredients are smooth and creamy. How do I make a smooth sauce? Blend until the ingredients are smooth and creamy. What's the quickest way to cook a stir-fry? Stir-fry quickly in a hot pan for a delicious meal. What's the quickest way to cook a stir-fry? Stir-fry quickly in a hot pan for a delicious meal. How can I make my dish look more appealing? Garnish with fresh herbs for a burst of flavor. How can I make my dish look more appealing? Garnish with fresh herbs for a burst of flavor. How should I season this dish? Sprinkle with salt to enhance the taste. How should I season this dish? Sprinkle with salt to enhance the taste. How do I make a glossy finish on this dish? Glaze with a sauce for a glossy finish. How do I make a glossy finish on this dish? Glaze with a sauce for a glossy finish. What's the best way to cook meat outdoors? Grill over open flames for a smoky flavor. What's the best way to cook meat outdoors? Grill over open flames for a smoky flavor. How can I keep the meat moist while roasting? Baste with juices to keep the meat moist. How can I keep the meat moist while roasting? Baste with juices to keep the meat moist. What's the method for even cooking of a large roast? Roast on a rotisserie for even cooking. What's the method for even cooking of a large roast? Roast on a rotisserie for even cooking. How should I prepare this meat? Carve into slices for serving. How should I prepare this meat? Carve into slices for serving. How do I prepare fish for cooking? Fillet the fish to remove the bones. How do I prepare fish for cooking? Fillet the fish to remove the bones. What's the first step in preparing chicken? 
Pluck the feathers before preparing the chicken. What's the first step in preparing chicken? Pluck the feathers before preparing the chicken. How do I prepare fish for grilling? Gut the fish before grilling it. How do I prepare fish for grilling? Gut the fish before grilling it. How should I prepare kebabs for the barbecue? Skewer the kebabs for the barbecue. How should I prepare kebabs for the barbecue? Skewer the kebabs for the barbecue. What's the secret to a flavorful turkey? Stuff the turkey with flavorful herbs and spices. What's the secret to a flavorful turkey? Stuff the turkey with flavorful herbs and spices. How can I make a colorful salad? Toss the fresh vegetables in a colorful salad. How can I make a colorful salad? Toss the fresh vegetables in a colorful salad. What should I do before grilling vegetables? Parboil briefly before grilling for that perfect texture. What should I do before grilling vegetables? Parboil briefly before grilling for that perfect texture. How do I start cooking pasta? Boil water before adding the pasta. How do I start cooking pasta? Boil water before adding the pasta. How can I make the soup tastier? Let the soup simmer on the stove to develop flavors. How can I make the soup tastier? Let the soup simmer on the stove to develop flavors. What's the secret to crispy chicken? Fry the chicken to a crisp, golden perfection. What's the secret to crispy chicken? Fry the chicken to a crisp, golden perfection. How should I prepare the turkey? Roast the turkey in the oven until it's beautifully browned. How should I prepare the turkey? Roast the turkey in the oven until it's beautifully browned. What's the baking time for the cake? Bake the cake until it's golden and fluffy. What's the baking time for the cake? Bake the cake until it's golden and fluffy. How do I cook salmon quickly? Broil the salmon for a few minutes until it's nicely charred. How do I cook salmon quickly? Broil the salmon for a few minutes until it's nicely charred. What's the best way to cook vegetables? Steam the vegetables until they're tender and vibrant. What's the best way to cook vegetables? Steam the vegetables until they're tender and vibrant. How can I prevent the sauce from sticking? 
Stir the sauce continuously to prevent it from sticking to the pan. How can I prevent the sauce from sticking? Stir the sauce continuously to prevent it from sticking to the pan. How should I prepare broccoli? Blanch the broccoli quickly to retain its bright green color. How should I prepare broccoli? Blanch the broccoli quickly to retain its bright green color. What can I do to make the steak more flavorful? Marinate the steak for hours to enhance its flavor. What can I do to make the steak more flavorful? Marinate the steak for hours to enhance its flavor. What's the first step in baking a casserole? Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit before placing the casserole inside. What's the first step in baking a casserole? Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit before placing the casserole inside. How do I melt butter for a recipe? Melt the butter in a saucepan over low heat. How do I melt butter for a recipe? Melt the butter in a saucepan over low heat. How long should I toast the bread? Toast the bread until it's perfectly crisp and golden. How long should I toast the bread? Toast the bread until it's perfectly crisp and golden. How should I prepare onions for salsa? Chop the onions finely for the salsa. How should I prepare onions for salsa? Chop the onions finely for the salsa. What size should I cut the vegetables for stir-fry? Cut the vegetables into bite-sized pieces for the stir-fry. What size should I cut the vegetables for stir-fry? Cut the vegetables into bite-sized pieces for the stir-fry. How do I prepare lettuce for a salad? Shred the lettuce to prepare a fresh salad. How do I prepare lettuce for a salad? Shred the lettuce to prepare a fresh salad. What's the secret to creamy mashed potatoes? Mash the potatoes with butter and cream for creamy mashed potatoes. What's the secret to creamy mashed potatoes? Mash the potatoes with butter and cream for creamy mashed potatoes. How do I make whipped cream? Whip the cream until it forms soft peaks. How do I make whipped cream? Whip the cream until it forms soft peaks. What's the first step in making pancakes? Beat the eggs before adding them to the pancake batter. 
What's the first step in making pancakes? Beat the eggs before adding them to the pancake batter. How should I mix the ingredients for the batter? Mix the ingredients together to create a smooth batter. How should I mix the ingredients for the batter? Mix the ingredients together to create a smooth batter. How do I make a fruit smoothie? Blend the fruits until you have a smoothie. How do I make a fruit smoothie? Blend the fruits until you have a smoothie. What's the quickest way to cook vegetables? Stir fry the vegetables quickly in a hot wok. What's the quickest way to cook vegetables? Stir fry the vegetables quickly in a hot wok. How should I prepare beef for a flavorful dish? Braise the beef slowly in a flavorful sauce. How should I prepare beef for a flavorful dish? Braise the beef slowly in a flavorful sauce. What's a hearty meal idea? Stew the chicken with vegetables for a hearty meal. What's a hearty meal idea? Stew the chicken with vegetables for a hearty meal. How can I add flavor to a dish? Sprinkle some salt and pepper to season the dish. How can I add flavor to a dish? Sprinkle some salt and pepper to season the dish. How can I make my tea unique? Infuse the tea with herbs for a unique flavor. How can I make my tea unique? Infuse the tea with herbs for a unique flavor.